Good evening. I'm Alan Solon, filling in for a bit before our new anchor takes over. There were fewer wrecks at some of Yakima's busiest intersections this past year, but not all of them. Jackie Del Pilar found the hot spot for collisions last year. Meredith Furniture has sat at First Street and Washington Avenue for decades. In that time, workers have seen a lot of traffic and a lot of wrecks. People don't pay attention, and when traffic slows or stops at the stoplight, that's when things happen. But lately, Michael Schul has seen fewer car crashes outside the furniture store. We've re really noticed a um, reduction in the overall uh, problem. Uh, used to have lots of fender benders and that kind of thing out front here, and they used to push our their car into our lot a lot. This intersection has seen a major drop in accidents. YPD's traffic sergeant credits safety improvements that started in early 2013. Most of those intersections, we've cut those numbers in half. A big part of that project targeted distracted drivers. Through enforcement and education, drivers are being told to put the phone down and watch the road. Since 2012, many of the crashes reported near these intersections have dropped including 1st in Washington, 1st in Knob Hill, and 40th in Knob Hill. The top five crash hotspots generally remain the same. But some intersections, like this one by the Walmart near Terrace Heights, see very few issues anymore. Though the numbers show progress, YPD isn't letting up their efforts. I, I think we may never be able to eliminate it completely, uh, just because of the sheer number of cars that go through those intersections. Those are the biggest. Police say they used to see a crash a day along 1st Street and Knob Hill. They hope that one day they can get that crash number down to zero. 